Duran Premium Cigars, one of the fastest growing boutique cigar companies, provides smokers a portal into the old Cuban tradition of the perfect balance and the lost art of progressive flavor construction. Roberto Palayo Duran began his career in tobacco over two decades ago in Havana, where his reputation grew within Cuban circles. The creation of Duran Premium Cigars has given Roberto the platform to introduce a series of cigars that offer the quality and construction that he perfected while in Cuba. Brands include the ultra-premium Roberto P. Duran Signature Line, Azan, Nea, and Baracoa. Duran uses a seed to humidor approach as all of their tobacco is grown in their farms and rolled in their factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Rollers have been carefully chosen to carry out Roberto's precise method to ensure progressive flavor in each cigar. Duran Premium Cigars invites you to make their premium your standard. Welcome back, everyone, to the Stogie Geek Show. Joe, I'm going to put you up first, and I'm actually just going to show a picture of the cigar you smoked. We can cut to uh, my screen. You smoked the Esteban Carrera's Mr. Brownstone. Look, there it is on the screen. Uh, this is this, amazing. Why didn't I think of this sooner? <laughs> this is weeks, great. Because weeks go by fast. Yeah. <laughs> you know, weeks go by fast. Uh, Mr. Brownstone. Mr. Brownstone. Interesting. Uh line when it was first introduced to me, not Esteban Carreras, the the uh stick, Mr. Brownstone. Mm -hmm. First thing I thought of was the song by yep. Guns N' Roses yep. and what the street word is for Mr. Brownstone. And I was like, oh wow, cool, whatever. And amazingly, that's how they name their sticks as well. Uh there. So we have uh I smoked Esteban Carreras, Mr. Brownstone. It's a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. It's got Nicaraguan binder and fillers. Um it was uh it's launched in three sizes. They're all in twenty count boxes. Uh just so you know, the uh sizes are called uh Speedball, which is the Robusto, and uh Smack. Which is six by fifty two and mainline sixty, um, which is a uh, five by sixty. The size that I had was the uh smack, which was a six by fifty two. Again, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, binder is Ecuadorian Habano, the uh, filler is Nicaraguan, complexity, scale of one to ten, I gave it a six. Flavor, I gave it a seven, balance, I gave it a seven. It's a very balanced cigar. Transitions a little bit there. I do like it. It started out with a little bit of earth and coffee right off the bat, mm -hmm. right? And then halfway through, it starts to kick in to, um, it kicks into some pepper, which I tend to like towards mm -hmm. the end. You know what I mean? This is starting to kick in as this well. This is, yeah, the, it's the, a little uh, more bold about halfway yep. through. Do you notice that too? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, which I was happy. Well, well, one of the things I was happy about this cigar. I've had other um, Esteban Carreras that I've spoken mm -hmm. about on the show. By far, this right here, so far, in this size, I'm probably going to uh, go for the Speedball Robusto uh, next. Okay. You know, because I'm, I'm, I'm not. I did the smack. I had some smack. Yep. <laughs> and um, f as far as the rating, I did give it a box split, which was higher than some of my other ratings in the Esteban Carreras. I, I, yeah. I, I do like it. I would... Uh, I'm going to hold off my rating for that because I'm mm -hmm. somewhat torn between Fiverr and, and, and Box Split, in my opinion. I only smoked one mm -hmm. um, like while I was doing something else. It wasn't a really good test. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I did like it. I yeah. liked it enough that I'm looking forward to trying another one in that size. I smoked two. Uh, I... Uh, Two of the same size. I, nice. I should have done the robusto. I didn't because when I when I first had it, I was like, oh wow, you know, because the the another one I had by them was the chupacabra, right? Mm -hmm. Chupacabra, and you know, I liked it, but again, I didn't give it a higher rating as as yeah. much as I did this one. But what I liked about it, uh, ever since our uh, Manuel Noah interview, mm -hmm. is that it's ready out of the box. Yes. So uh, I I don't know if you picked up that feature. That's one feature that I'm really it didn't judging taste young. now. Yep. Didn't uh, taste that I'm young really at all. judging now, especially when we get into newer cigars and or tell you new what, lines I, that are out. I went back to an old favorite. Um, this is the Padron Number no. Nine Maduro, 1926 series Number no. Nine Maduro. Mm -hmm. Such a smokable cigar, fantastic flavors. Get that chocolatey profile. It just smells delicious, like the pre-lit, the room aroma. The taste, the flavor, the burn, the draw, construction, like everything comes together in the cigar. I actually picked up a box of them. Um, I, I would say 
you're missing out if you don't have a box of these in your humidor mm -hmm. uh, to smoke on a semi-regular basis because, I mean, it's just a win every time when you smoke it. So uh, I really like it. It's definitely box-worthy. Um, it, it might even be pretty close to fight Chuck Norris, to be honest with you, because it just is so consistent and tastes good every time I have it. Mm -hmm. Did you, but the brownstone? I know you're not ready to give it a rating yet, but did you find it more enjoyable than some of the other ones? Or I did, yeah. Yep. I, I think they make some good cigars at Esteban Carreras. Don't get me wrong. Um, I actually like their Connecticut offering. I think it's pretty good. Um, but I also uh, thought it was. I, I don't know. Like I only smoked one, and like I said, I was doing something else, so it's tough for me to uh, to judge it. But I did. I did like it mm -hmm. a lot. What else you got? Yeah. Oh, more. More. Ah, I got more. I got more. I have. Where am I? I'm gonna show you. You did a pissed off Kristoff. Mm. I found my size in the pissed off Kristoff, and it's robusto. Uh, the size is five seven five by forty eight. Wrapper is San Andreas, Mexico. Uh, binder is from Indonesia, and the filler is Nicaraguan. Uh, complexity. Again, I gave it a six. Flavor gave it an eight. Balance gave it an eight. The stick, I I did smoke the bigger ring gauge when it first came out, and I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, you know, it, it it was it was good, you know, and, and I gave it a slightly higher rating because it it starts off with definitely you can taste notes of coffee and leather right off the bat with the Robusto, and then as you get closer it, you w with the retro hail tw towards the end thoroughly enjoyed it like completely was just like like i sat down had a chance to you know, to just relax have that stick um i do like the robusto size the robusto size i boosted up my rating i gave it a box split you know definitely if if you if you know i i, I like it more than the bigger ring gauge for sure there's some good flavors in that pissed off Kristoff. Yes. I tell you, it did a good job uh, getting some great flavors uh, from that tobacco. And the story behind it uh, was was amazing how they named it. Yeah. As well, no, it was good. it was yeah. a customer. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a good story who, all around. Who gave it to them? But yeah, it, it, it's definitely a good smoke. Awesome. Um, let me see. What else did I smoke? Uh, I definitely smoked a lot of those Padrones, um, and I smoked a fake Cuban, which mm. is, which is kind of interesting. Doesn't that? Let me see if I can. If, I, get I, talk, handed, I, I get handed fake Cubans all the time. Did I, talk I actually about, threw one out today. Did you? True story. Yeah, I was in my office. I was like, I'm not going to smoke that. No, I threw it out. <laughs> we can, we can, we can switch to it. Yeah, there it is. Oh. It was it's Bahike, but it's not really a Bahike. Okay. It was it was totally, totally fake. Mm. Which is a shame because. Did you tell when you first lit it? Oh yeah, you can tell right away. Yeah, the cap. Yeah. The cap. It wasn't well no, it's not just the cap, but just I mean when you light it up and you get the flavors from it, it's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yep, this is definitely not Cuban tobacco. I mean Cuban tobacco has a very distinct taste and flavor yes, it does. associated with it. And I was like, Well, it's not it now, it's kind of funny. It's not a bad cigar. Like you think like, well, it's a fake Cuban, so it must have been a really crappy cigar. Mm. Like there was some premium tobacco in this, uh, you know, definitely long filler, premium tobacco. It just wasn't Cuban tobacco <laughs> that was in it, um, and so the uh, it's tough to tell from the picture. The band, I, I didn't notice. Like you see those uh, white uh, boxes that Cohiba uses, mm -hmm. all those little dots. Mm -hmm. They're actually square dots. Yep. Um, when they print the fake bands. There's variances, like you can see, it's kind of off kilter, or there's no, not an equal amount of space between all the. That's how you can spot one, where you can spot a fake. And with this one, it looked, I, even from the picture, like it looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. Yeah. But it was. It so was, you mean when they cut the band, when they printed the band? When they print they, the band, they, 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 they cut print it. it. Yeah. yeah. When the, the real Cohibas, like the bands are spot on, like there's no like uh, abnormalities when they print the band. Yeah. So that's one way. But when you let it up and smoke it, you can tell right away. So you, you rated the fake Bahika? The fake Bahika was like a fiver, dude. Like, it wasn't a bad <laughs> cigar. I enjoyed smoking it. And then you can, like, tell your friends, hey, look, I'm smoking a Bahike. Mm. Uh, and it was really, like, you know, some $5. Or probably someone paid a lot of money for it because they were selling it as a real Bahike. Mm. So kind of interesting. So you knew it was fake before you lit it up? Uh, at, right and, after I lit it up. Uh, I mean, I had some suspicions that it was fake. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> right. sometimes you can tell if it's kind of lumpy, yep. you know, and the, the wrapper doesn't it has a nice sheen, doesn't have a nice sheen to it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but as soon as you light it up, yeah, you know. That's so funny. I was in my locker today at a retailer before the show, and uh, another retailer not not next door, and and I pulled out the 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 the, the Cuban, and it was a Cohiba. Yeah. It's been sitting in the locker probably for a year, and I just. I was just like, because every time I opened my locker for a year, I saw it like lying there. Mm. I was like, today, I literally took it and just threw it right in the carpet. Because <laughs> I smelt it. It smelt, it smelt, it's, first of all, it was infused with something. Like when you smelt uh, it, I was yeah. like, yeah, this is not even, this is this not even, even close. Yeah. You know, cap was off, uh, label was off. Right. I don't even know if they spell Cohiba right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, but that would be a t- kind so of funny. an indicator. That, that's so funny how, how I just threw it away. Like I wasn't even, I, I won't go through it. Like I won't. But sometimes they're not bad, though. Yeah, I know. I just, you know, how, what do you say? I smoked a f- fake Cohiba, no clue how this guy got it and gave it to me. Right. And the guy who gave it to me was like a wicked, he was all proud. You know what I mean? had, Yeah, he thought he had acquired like yeah, this awesome like, like Cuban he, he cigar. Thought, he thought he, you know, and I was like, hey, man, thanks. You know, and he was like, oh, you enjoy, you enjoy. And I, you know, and then uh, I saw him and, and, and I'm like, I, and every time I see him, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I had it. It was great. You know, yeah. thanks, man. <laughs> You know, the, 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 some of the shenanigans that go on in the yeah. shop. I think I have know? another potential fake Cuban in my in my humor. I think it's fun to smoke them. It's a, well, <laughs> the fo- unfortunate part is if you don't remember how you got it or if yeah. you can't acquire more, that you, and if you really, really liked it. Because yeah. there's been a couple of, of side cigars that, that I've had that I really, really like, and apparently you, you either can't get them anymore or whichever. Right. And I... That would drive me nuts. Like, if I really enjoyed it, and, mm-hmm. and I'd rather just let the suspense linger in my mind, you know? <laughs> you smoked an, is, this, is this a new Avo? Uh, this is this was a confusing Avo. Uh, this uh, in 27 at uh, IPCPR in 2017, they um came up with limited edition the, the improvisation. Apparently, they do this sporadically. Right, it's, oh, I think I have some. Of it's these. in an interesting box. You sometimes they 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 come in all different uh, boxes. Th- this here, it's it's like a, a, a you open it up. It's, it's got l- excellent presentation. You got a leather bound box, piece of cedar through the middle. Uh, it, it, it's 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 a good smoke. The size is Gordo. It was a six by sixty. It's a box press. It's that slightly boxed press though. It's not like right. a straight box press there, but it's 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 a slightly box press wrapper. Ecuador uh, Habano Maron Claro uh, binder is from the Dominican Republic and a Allure Zona Seven. Ooh, interesting. Right um, there. Uh, if you're looking for a description, you can ask Paul. Paul at StogieGeeks.com. He'll, he'll provide you, you one. Uh, Phila. Well, Olor is a, a region <laughs> right of the Dominican. I'm, I'm just a co-host. I don't right? know what Zona was Zona 7, did you say? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's probably Olor, it's, Zona 7. Must be indicative right. of a uh, region and a plant yep. that they, they got the tobacco from. Filler, pretty complex. Here we go. Uh, Esteli. I'm sorry. Uh, we well, Let's start over. Filler. Nicaragua. Esteli Lajero, Dominican Republic, San Vince, San Vicente, ooh, San Vicente Lajero, and then San Vicente Majoro, what? Seiko, M A J O R D O, sure, M- Majoro, yeah. Seiko, uh, Peloto Lajero, and um, Peloto Seiko. So it's it's uh, I mean complexity. Even though it had all of that stuff in there, f- fillers, mm-hmm. it's the smooth it's the smoothness that you can expect from from Avo, right? So mm-hmm. you know, uh, to me, when you smoke an Avo, it has a distinct smoothness on the palate. The smoke tends to be very smooth mm-hmm. on the palate. Uh, the size was okay. I'm not a big fan of the six by sixty, but it was okay. So complexity, I gave it a seven. Flavor, I gave it a seven. And Just balance. The same size and shape as the was it the the rip, Ritmo? What was it? It was the same. It, well, one of the Ritmos, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And the one we smoked was the the same size. Yeah. Yep. And then balance. It's 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 very balanced, just like you expect from from Avo. But again, uh, you know. Y- I always describe Avo where you get a clean smoke on the palate, you know. Uh, so you get a clean smoke on the palate. I did get 
little more hint of leather than I normally get from mm -hmm. Avo towards the end there. But, uh, you, you know, right towards the end, you just start to get hints of caramel and cedar, a little bit of black pepper lingering in the background, but it's not quite as as Avo-esque mm. as, as you would expect. Um, supposedly, uh, these are limited edition. They came out in 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they retail around 15 to 18 a stick uh, there. I did give it a fiver, mm -hmm. you know, okay. uh, for a limited edition. But it, it's a good stick. And, and if, if you find yourself there, you owe it to yourself for, for a treat. You won't be disappointed. Right. What I like about the bands, apparently, on these Im improvisation series is obviously Avo Sr. was a phenomenal musician. Mm -hmm. Wrote songs, modern day songs that people uh, sing and stuff like that. And uh, it just, it, it's, um, it, the bottom part of the band has some music notes on there. Yeah, so, I, so, I thought so I saw that. Yeah. So they're still paying tribute to the likes and the the uh i did like how it was um band wise it was the original the original colors and whatnot so mm -hmm. so they're still holding on to that to that heterage right uh there you know nice. so it was, it was a good smoke i i i did give it a fiver i have two more so you know it, uh, but i don't think it would really skew yeah, that, yeah, you know, because sometimes you're dealing you with price tell. point, right. and sometimes if you go into the shop, they only sell you two, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. So I guess it would depend on the shop there. What do you think of this Padron? I'm digging this Padron. This uh, is the Padron 1964 series, the Presidente, brand mm -hmm. new, brand new size. Uh, what do we say? This was six by fifty, six by fifty. Yep, starting to get a little bit of the hint of uh, cedar coming in. Say a little more chocolatey. You do. Mm. Yeah, I got a little more chocolatey notes as we get into the final third of this cigar. The retro hail. <laughs> retro hail. How's the inhale on that one? <laughs> <laughs> the inhale's a little harsh, but uh, the retro hail, that's good. The, the <laughs> retro hail. <laughs> yeah. Uh when when you retro hail and don't breathe in, right? Don't breathe yeah, don't inhale. <laughs> but no, it's it's good. It's it's a, it's it's balanced. I mean it's balanced. It's definitely smooth. got some some complex it's smooth. Uh, it's a good smoke, you know. Yeah. And it's in crush proof tabs because you can. Oh, I love know. these <laughs> tubes, right? These tubes are awesome. Um, they're square tubes. They're just, they're gorgeous to look at, but functional as well. Yep. And when it comes in the tube, uh, it's in cellophane inside the tube, so it's double protected, uh, which makes it great for travel, uh, and one that I would I would take with me. Absolutely. For sure. Yep. Absolutely. Awesome. You got like one more? I do. You don't have any more? I, d I don't. That's you don't? I, I really right. did. I, I reviewed some. I'm trying to get it more back in my reviewing groove. Mm. Sure. Uh, I had the Pure Soul. Oh, no, wait. I did smoke another one. What'd you, what'd you do? I smoked the Pappy Van Winkle. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I smoked one. That's good. Yep. It's not really super strong. And it's got a nice like cedary, um, little bit of almost like a cinnamon kind of sweetness to it. Uh, I really liked it. I would probably put it, uh, and I smoked the Bellicoso size uh, in that blend. I, we're going to feature it on the show, so okay. uh, I think we should smoke it as our, our when um, uh, Rain Man comes back. We should all smoke it together because we have a bunch of those uh, Bellicosos that were sent to us by Drew Estate, and um, their lower third is up there now, so it's very, uh, very timely. Uh, I think it's a really good cigar. Mm -hmm. uh, they are limited. I thought it was really good. I, this cigar so far, I would put it in a box split. Uh, as I smoke more, I may update my rating, but I would put it at a, at a box split uh, for sure. I think it's a good smoke. Mm -hmm. What size do you have? I had that, like, Bellicoso. Okay. It's like a short Bellicoso. Mm -hmm. Well, I had the Pure Soul Honduras Toro, which you almost... You've been making your way through this Pure Soul. Yes, because next week I have the, the Baba Pole lined up. I had that oh, yesterday. Yeah. I had that yesterday, but I won't give away okay. uh, anything. You know, keep them keep riveted. Keep them in suspense. Right? <laughs> but I did have the uh, Pure Soul Honduras. I like to rekindle myself with some... some some brands that you know they don't move as well as they should yeah. you know what i mean and i i look i look at it like you know why don't they move you know what i mean there's a bunch of reasons you know so, some some shops uh, i know a shop that took took in and blew through all the boxes other ones mm -hmm. they they, they kind of linger 
It's amazing because they're only six miles apart, you know. But yeah. I did have the Pure Soul Honduras. Uh, the, the size I had was a Toro. It's a six by fifty four. Wrap, wrapper binder filler is all Honduras. Um, complexity, I gave it a uh, seven. Uh, flavor and balance, I gave it an eight. It's just, it's just a. Uh, it's my favorite of their line. Hmm. Interesting. You know. Uh, there in regards to what I got taste wise uh, you light it up you get a little bit of nut taste um, it's it, it's creamy halfway point uh, through through the cigar uh, it does develop into some some nice spice and then right at the end it does get meaty not quite so much overbearing on the was it this leather. one with the green the green yep, band? it's a green one yep. okay yep the episode before i had the maduro mm -hmm. and um the next episode i am talking about the barber pole for for the pure soul uh in regards to to this i did give it a box worthy the same as the maduro the, mm. you know what i mean especially it, it, you have negotiating power if you walk into a shop and you buy yeah, a pure no, no, soul. No. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you can... Because you well, this review uh, is from like 2014. Okay. So... What did they give it? Who, who was it? Uh, it was a cigar authority. They gave it a 92. Mm -hmm. So it's like eight, eight and change. Yep. Um, it scored a 90, now it's a 92. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is from 2014. Yep. So... And we're going to be yep. re-interviewing Ro uh, Robert, right, as oh, well. Nice. He's, he's, he's a great guy. He's scheduled to to come in the queue and, and whatnot. He's got a little bit of a new position that he'll develop and whatnot. But it, it, they're a good line, you know. And mm. it, I just think that, you know, maybe when they came out, the other, you know, other uh, brands and blends might have swallowed, you know, took mm -hmm. some of the action. Right. Away from that, but you know, yeah. basic presentation, gr good smokes if if you have them uh, available at your local retailer or if, or if you're a local retailer, um, definitely ch uh, check them out. It's 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 a good smoke. Awesome. Well, thank you, Joe, mm -hmm. and thank you, everyone, for listening and watching this edition of the Stogie Geek Show. We won't see everyone next week because it's a holiday. Yep. But after that, we'll be back. So thank you. <laughs>